School has been in session for a few weeks now. Getting into that student mode won't be easy for every child. Research shows that on average, students will lose 2.6 months of grade level equivalency in math and other subjects over the summer. Our next guest helps parents develop excited learners. Education expert Dominique Ciccarelli, good morning. Good morning, Mary, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, 2.6 months. Um, how does that academic uh, how does it affect progress? Yeah, so what you're, uh, what you're describing is also called the summer slide. So students um, don't have math embedded in their learning environment over the summer, so they tend to lose some of their knowledge and some of their skills because they don't continue to practice over the summer months. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, your brain is a muscle, so it's important to keep active and uh, practicing and and working out. Mm -hmm. So what can parents do if they're, they're listening? Of course they don't want that to happen to their child. How can they combat the summer slide? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a new school year. It's a, new, a fresh start um, for a successful transition. You said that you guys have been back in school for a month now. Mm -hmm. So it's good to start um, establishing a consistent homework routine. So if, uh, if students should be able to um, have expectations of when they're going to do their schoolwork each day, when they're going to read a book each night, perhaps right before bed for 30 minutes, often works really well for families. Mm -hmm. And setting up a distraction-free study area really helps kids. So putting away the cell phone, any kind of gadget, games, making sure the TV is off. And anything that's going to break concentration is recommended um, for students to be able to study. Mm -hmm. And as we know, the school standards are getting harder each year. And it's good to um, touch base with your teacher. You don't have to wait until November or when the first report card is issued to meet with the teacher, um, build that rapport, find out what kind of expectations your, your child is going to need to meet this year. And also enrolling in an enrichment program can really help students to, to uh, build their extra skills so that they're able to meet the school standards and get ahead in school. Mm -hmm. Advanced study is, is the goal in the Kumon program for all of our students. And we um, give students a boost in their confidence and help students by giving them an academic advantage. Mm -hmm. And so that affects the summer slide. How? Does it just help make up for that 2.6 month deficit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the beginning of the school year is usually spent reviewing last year's material. And um, Kumon can also help with uh, reviewing some of the some of the loss that might have happened mm -hmm. but is more importantly we hope students will stay in the program so that they can stay on top of all, all of their academics and, and and get good grades and be able to um, be ahead in their class how can parents help their kids so stay? you know there's no time like the present we can we can you know even if the summer we, you kicked back there's there's still a brand new school year for us to to get started and continue to practice and build our skills mm -hmm. and, increase our motivation. I, I was going to ask you about keeping kids excited. So they're hungry, um, they want to learn more, they're, they're eager to learn. Is there anything parents can do to where kids just aren't pumped at the beginning of the year, but as we get into 2016, they're still excited? Yeah, enthusiasm, they say, is contagious. So for parents, it's important to be excited, and your children will model some of that, um, that behavior. Mm -hmm. So if you're excited, they'll be excited. And that'll positively reinforce um, that kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. And it's important to stay engaged with your children's learning. So asking specific questions really helps. Um, asking your child, how was school today, will probably get you a one-word answer. Fine, OK. But by asking specific questions like, what did you do in science? Or did you read a book aloud today? What kind of cool things did you do in math? Those can go a long way towards keeping your child really engaged and f them feeling like you're on board with their learning. Mm -hmm. And also just encouraging your, your children um, to, to try their best. So you really want to encourage their effort towards meeting um, their goals, their academic goals. And even smaller things like, say, if your child uh, gets started on their homework without a reminder and gets, if the time is 4 o'clock that they do their homework each day and they do that independently without asking, without you needing to tell them, that's mm -hmm. even better. It's a great opportunity yeah. to encourage your child yeah. um, to keep their motivation up. Dominic, we'll leave it there. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Okay, thanks, Mary. Thank you. My